Hi, uh, I'm Janet Thibodeau. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me for this live HostGator demonstration. Uh, today, I am going to walk you through the steps that you can take to find out who owns a specific domain name. I'll back up a minute and talk about why you'd want to know who owns a domain name. Uh, the primary reason is that if you find a great domain name for your website, for your blog, your online presence, um, and you want to register that domain and you find out that it's not available. Uh, there is an opportunity for you to find out who owns it, to reach out to that uh, person or that entity and see if it's possible to purchase or transfer the domain name to you. Uh, it's not that uncommon that someone would register a domain name and uh, never, build, never build the site out that the domain name might be available for transfer. So um, I'm going to walk you through the steps for that. It's very quick, it's not a complicated process. So. We'll start sharing. Um, of course, the first step to getting online is finding a great name for your website. There's lots of places that you can register a domain name. Most hosting services have them. In fact, HostGator here, of course. Uh, we have our lovely Snappy mascot. So if I wanted a website that represents him, so I want to see if I can get snappyshop.com for my Snappy website. And, oh, it's telling me that snappyshop.com is not available. Uh, I've got other options here that I could register for, but if I've got my heart set on having that .com, I might want to see who owns it and see if I can purchase it. So there is a website that actually has all of this information. I'm going to put the link here. See if I can share that with you. Um, it's whois.ican.org. And they have a search option too. You put the domain name with the domain extension that you're interested in finding and it will pull up the contact information. So there's an email and a phone number and that's a great place to start to reach out and see if there might be a possibility to transfer that domain to me. Um, I wanna point out that the Whois database is gonna collect information on every domain that gets registered, no matter who you register it from, what service you use to purchase that domain, uh, the, inf the contact information that you put in does go into the database. There are exceptions, of course, GDPR, if that's in place, in effect, um, that will automatically mask that private information. A lot of people do as well opt for domain privacy or use other ways to mask the information so that their personal data isn't out there. Um, here's an example of what that might look like. If I look at Snappy Store instead of Snappy Shop, it shows me that the information is redacted for privacy. So um, if you do find this is the case and you still want to pursue getting that domain name, there are domain name brokers that you can reach out to uh, that can help you do that. That's what they specialize in. They'll find the owner and help you negotiate possibly a purchase of the domain name. So that's pretty much it for the demonstration that I was going to share. Uh, you just have to remember that I can who is database. I'm going to put the link in the comments to that. If you want to look up some web, some, um, some domain names to see what the availability is or who owns them. Um, so yeah, if you find the perfect domain name and it's taken, that doesn't have to be the end of the road. You can purchase, you can possibly purchase that domain name for your own use. Um, like I said, this was super quick. There's a lot more to know um, about getting your domain name online. There's considerations you need to be aware of when you're picking a domain name that it represents your business. It represents what people are going to be able to find or do on your website. Um, it's got to be broad enough that if your business expands, you diversify into different areas that your that your website, you're not going to lose that equity that the domain name will follow you as your business grows. Uh, there's also considerations when you register like domain privacy and other options that you might want to implement. And then of course there's the um, managing that domain name after you own it. So the good news is we do have a webinar coming up May 22nd at um, it's 12 o'clock central time U S uh, if you want to know more about how to protect and uh, manage your perfect domain name, we'll be covering everything about domains at that webinar. So I'll put a link to that as well in the comments. We'd love it if you go ahead and register, reserve your spot for that. Again, that's coming up on May 22nd. Um, otherwise, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, um, put them in the comments. I'll be happy to get back with you and um, appreciate your feedback. 
any suggestions you have for topics we can cover in the future and hope that we will see you at the May 22nd webinar. Thanks again. Um, I'm Janet Thibodeau and hope to see you next time.